everybody. I didn't get to wear anything on 4th of July. Tanya bought me these, but I forgot to wear them. So I'm wearing them today. That's okay. The whole month is 4th of July. That's right. We get to celebrate our independence the entire month of July. So, how do y'all like my new headband? Thank you, Tanya. I love it. Feels a little strange being here at the house again. It's been a while since I've been back here, but here I am. Got in late last night. Played some Uno with Crystal and Corey. That was a lot of fun. Went to bed about 2 o'clock. And got up at about... Oh, 6. But then I went back to sleep till about 7.30, so. Yeah, and I'm going to uh, get ready to color. Uh, we're going to do some cleaning and stuff, but not right this minute. Mom's kind of tired, and we put a few things away. We put uh, Pa's urn and his picture up on the mantle. So that's where that's going to be for now. I still got to dust the whole mantle and everything and do some cleaning and stuff. But uh, yeah, just a few things and uh, help mom clean up the house and all of that. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm going to do some coloring today and just kind of kick back and relax for a while. But. <sighs> Not sure exactly when I'll be heading on the road back to California. Keep you guys all updated. Good morning, everybody. It's a very, very hot day today. I've been trying to uh, resolve my TPMS gauge thing. That's a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, I tried calling Nissan to see if I can get some information, but the service department does not answer their phone tried for quite a while so not a good sign already so I've, I'm assuming they're busy but uh, yeah the, uh, I made the circle back and forth and back and forth with the receptionist because nobody answers the phone in the service department so I'm gonna drive there and I'm just gonna ask so you know if you annoy somebody enough they're going to uh, tell you something so what I've done so far, of course, is taken to have uh, two of the sensors replaced that uh, are out, or were going out. Uh, one was done by Pep Boys that cost me $150. One was done by um, um, Joey Toth, which is uh, uh, Maria Cisnero Toth's husband, which I truly, truly appreciate. Uh, but it didn't resolve the problem. So, um, the last chance, of course, is to go to Nissan themselves and see what they're going to say. I, I refuse to spend more than $100 to resolve the problem. I will not let them jack me for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, if it won't go off, I'm just going to have to save it, sell it as is. And, uh, take a loss for it. That's the worst concept in this uh, tire pressure gauge. I would love to just get underneath the uh, dashboard and just cut the line a little bit to the light because nobody pays attention to it anyway. It's only only paid attention to when you're trying to sell it like I am. Okay so I was trying to go to my Nissan dealership here just here in town in Corona. But I haven't been able to get there because the freeway is so screwed up that the, um, the overflow is in the middle of the city and now I'm sitting in a one lane road going nowhere. I can't f I get to the Nissan because it, it's so screwed up. The lights are out so you don't even have the uh, lights to deal with. I can't get around Corona anymore. So I'm going to have to give up on this. I'd have to go to Riverside 
to the dealership because Corona is parked. Look at that. I had to go all the way up above the freeway about two miles to Green River trying to get around this big block and this is what I have and this is probably freeway overflow going nowhere hello everybody we are going to get some storms tonight yep Sean sent me a text saying that we might get some tornadoes yeah so we got the weather channel going kind of keeping an eye on that um, but uh, the weather channel just says some pretty severe thunderstorms we'll have to see crystal is over here eating <laughs> stuffing her face with some sesame chicken that looks really really yummy I had beef with mushroom but I might taste her sesame chicken. Whether and my she foot likes it or swollen. not. Oh, and her foot is swollen. She got bit by a red ant. I'm allergic to him. And she's allergic to him. Hi, Peanut! Hi, Peanut! We were playing. Oh, my camera's fogging up because it's so humid out here. Uh. We were playing. Okay, that's better. We were playing Cards Against Humanity tonight. And one of the questions, I, I don't remember the question. I wouldn't say the question anyway because the questions are really not uh, appropriate for all ages. But one of the answers put down was the word ghost. And just then, the stack of cards falls off the table. Like, okay, Pa, that's enough. That's enough. He must not have liked the game. So, anyway, Chris and I are going to play a little bit of Uno. I'll be back in a little bit to say goodbye to you guys and let you know if we start getting storms. Like my hair? Yeah, I like these. Yeah. Say goodbye. Okay, so I'm missing a piece of chair rail on this wall um, because... The wall we used to be longer. I had less cabinets in here at the time. And I bought myself a nice piece of chair rail that matches all the other chair rail. So it'll fit on here quite nicely. I painted it so it's going to be a nice transition from one to the other. The big problem is that is the edge of my countertop. And I'm going to have to do a cope cut to get it to fit correctly. So I'll show you how to start that. Okay. So, in order to get this to work right, I have to scroll around this edge here. And I want this piece of wood here to go all the way up to that uh, tile. So, the first thing I need to do is to adjust my um, compass, basically all it is, to this is going to be here, so that's where I start. Okay, so there it is. It's not pretty, but I, I will fill it with um, um, caulk, paintable caulk. And so I'll be able to get this over to there. And you could either cut this on with a coping saw, which is the little bow, little tiny bow saw, but I have a um, scroll saw, so I'm going to do it on my scroll saw. Not bad. A little sloppy, but... Okay, guys, the wind is picking up. Then it's starting to howl. It's not raining yet. But there is lightning starting to happen and the wind is starting to howl. And Crystal's scared. She wants to go inside. 
See, look. look. See, it's starting to get windy out here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. What little bit we did today. Not sure what Kevin did over at the house uh, at home. Um, I know he's been doing some work in the kitchen, uh, yay, and dining room. So, I just heard a tree branch crack back there. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed everything, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a share, give us a comment, all that happy, crappy stuff, and we'll see you guys. I felt a raindrop. We'll see you guys tomorrow.